And I said, you know what we've never done? It's really talked about shoe entry from multiple standpoints and at multiple periods of time. Because that's really what a lot of us, at least in Vegas, are faced with. You walk into the casino and then the shoe's already started. You know, so you've got to make a decision if you're going to get on it or in it, and then how are you going to do it? Well, you, you, get, you need a, 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 a reason to do it, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. So, here in here, maybe you can just pass me around. There's two pages. Everybody gets one of those. Thank you. There's, there's, there's two pages. Yeah, I think you got three or four. Oops, there's two or three. Two. 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 What did I say? Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh. Thank you. So the, the idea is, is that the, if you look at page two, uh, where it's got the triangle, is it basically the green section represents maybe that first 10 to 15 hands of the shoe. Okay, so up to about 15 hands. So that's your, your that's, your, uh, what, at what point does everybody usually enter a shoe? How many hands have passed? You have an idea? I'm sorry? At what point do you usually enter the shoe if you're going to start from scratch? 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. Okay. Anybody else? 10. Okay. So that's, that's the green portion. Okay. In other words, you've got, a, you've got a lot of knowledge, which I'm going to show you again how much you really know, <laughs> but you don't have a lot of information upon which to make bets. Okay. So it gets a little bit easier. And your the possibility of uh, winning some bets goes up higher as you have more information. That's the yellow section, okay. But it also can get riskier too, for the very reason that we just heard was that you know when he was talking about the app, you could be betting the disparities, you could be betting any way you want, but you're just not winning, okay. So it can get it can get risky, but it can also be more rewarding. I know Jerry likes to play a way where he comes in, gets a couple of units, and. Right? And it goes out. The top section is that little bit of, you know, the shoe that's left near the end. So let's say from hand 55 or 50 on, okay? So all that is, is it just shows you that you've got to take into account where are you in the shoe before you decide whether to enter or not, okay? So that's that one. Okay. So we've done this before, but Passing out. We can just we can just pass. Shouldn't make every bet in the shoe. Your your hit rate will go up if you make fewer bets. Your profit will go up. Your confidence will go up. And there's just no need to bet every hand unless your strategy is I'm going to do that because that's the way I want to do it. Okay. So when I realized that and started doing it, I got it down to the point where I said, well, probably be a, for me, I'd like to make about 60% of the bets in the shoe. Okay. Possibility bets. Now. I don't look at it as a shoe, I look at it as a session. A session could be one hand, okay? I'm gonna make one bet, whoop, go home, okay? A session could be, 
you know, I've got 15 minutes and then I gotta go. And I think some of you see me breezing in and out of the casino and I'll get 15 minutes to a half hour and say, yeah, I gotta go get the dollars or whatever. So it, that can be a session. A session could be half a shoe where you say, I'm gonna play 40 hands and then I'm gone, no matter how much profit or loss I made. Or it could be a whole shoe or a series of shoes. You know, you sit down and say, I'm gonna play three shoes today. Okay. But again, the objective being that you want to decide as you go along, you see the, the kind of a hierarchy of uh, bets, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a minute. But basically, one of the best bets I think there is is no bet. In other words, if you're not, if you just think it's going to be a banker, that's not a good bet. It really isn't. And you'll see over time, the more you play, that if you just think something's going to happen, you're really just, it's wishful thinking. You know, sure you'll win some of them, you know. We talked about that this morning, we talked a little bit about, you know, 50-50 and all that. Um, a bad bet is kind of the worst thing you can do. And that's where, you know, maybe you're, you're down for the day or for the week or whatever, and you say, ah, I'm going all in. How many, how many people have ever been at a table where somebody has said, I'm all in? <laughs> and and the, the worst thing that happens is they stand up and start backing away because they think they're going to lose. <laughs> so there are things, such things as bad bets. An okay bet is where you have information relative to where you are in that you know, triangle that allows you to say, you know what, I, I think, I believe that this bet will win. Maybe you bet half a unit. I guess I know Jerry does that, you know. Um, but it, 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 it's still just okay. Okay, that's not, you know. What you want to do is be working in the good, better, best bets. If you're going to make a bet, it better be a good bet, okay? So we're going to do some shoe examples and stuff. Guess what that. A better bet would be, you know, you got more confidence. And then the best bet would be, like in 5D, when all the disparities say, bet banker. Doesn't mean you're going to win. But it's a good bet, you know what I mean? If all the if everything says, even though we talked earlier about you know the fact that you can, that all the disparities can say bet banker and still be a player. I mean it's a 50-50. You know? So that's so you, you need that concept to understand that. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to use this information. Right here to help us decide what to do. So, oh, I think it was in, in uh, March of two. Yeah, we had a seminar, March of two thousand nineteen, and I came up with this concept of the ten best bets. Okay, and once everybody has a sheet, I'll tell you what they are. And I added two, so it's 10 plus now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so these are in no particular order, by the way. Does everybody know what strong side is in the context of the BTC forum? Does everybody, if you don't, just say you don't. I don't. Okay, you don't, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> well, what strong side is, it's one of two things. If you have a situation where all of a sudden you've got a disparity of like 15 banks and two players, which happens, you know, that, that actually does happen. You know, the shoe starts and there's 10 players in a row and then there's two players and then there's five more banks, you know, 10 banks. So that would be an example of a, of a strong side bet. The other example, is where, and I don't know, Keith, if you've got a shoe, but it doesn't matter. Sure. You've seen shoes where, you know, you'll get like four players, one bank. Four players, one bank. Six players, one bank. So, yeah, okay, or vice versa. Six banks, two players. So, you know, that's the strong side. See, pretty soon you've got, you've got that big ratio of player to bank, okay? And I can't tell you how many times you will see this in about at least one out of every three shoes. Part of the shoe will be what's called strong side. Okay, that's where you make. That's the money maker. That's mm -hmm. yes. Tim, uh, one of the things that Keith discovered uh, last is the F, the F approach was for 
Strong side. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if you, if you, uh, right, Keith? You you enjoyed the F. Yes. Okay. F2. 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 Okay, so that's the strong side is. Then we'll go through. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Is uh, length more important than, like, you know, if you have a whole bunch of six, six, six blues and I, I would say they're equally important. Equal. And you'll see, you'll see times where, uh, I'm sure Mike's seen this, where you'll have a couple of players, a bank, a couple of players, a bank, two players, one bank. And, you, and you'll count the, the ones on the bank side and it'll go like, it might be 12 and, you know, so it's, it really just depends on the um, situation. If it's longer, you know, that, yeah, that's stronger. <laughs> okay. But you can have strong side with a two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, you know, pattern. So you so. have strong side and, and bit the run if you got a lot of these runs or... If yeah, you got a bunch of twos going all the way across. Right, you just go up two or three. Right, that's correct. Um, the the disparities it, it's what's called four D. Okay, five D is just four D plus one ten best bets. Okay, yeah. When you're making a decision on the strong side, how many hands? Uh, I'll say that again. How many hands before you can decide to make the decision that what is a strong side? Well, I think if you see uh, consecutively two or three or four on one side, and then one, and then another couple on the other side, and then one, I think you're in a strong side mode. It's it's worth making those bets then. One of my ten hands or so on. Yeah, it could, it could be. Yeah, it could be. It could be fewer, you know. But it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna jump out at you when you see it. it it's gonna you know. If you're looking at the uh, screen there and you go out one, two, three, four, and you get the long run, uh huh, and that's all you had at that point in the game, would you call that strong side? Uh, I wouldn't. I would not call that strong side, but yeah, particularly, it's, it's it's okay. Players winning, you know. Players dominant. Yeah, but it, but it's not it's not exactly. like really. You know what I mean? You're going to see these shoes where it only has yeah. one, maybe two. You know. Over and over and over and over and over on one side or the other, and the other side's getting all the good, you know, getting all the you know, stuff. All the long streets, yeah. There's a good one. Yeah, there's a good one. I don't have a pointer or anything, but you can see that one bank, one bank, one bank, one bank, one bank, one bank, one bank. Get it? Yeah. Okay, but the but the the so it's it's wide, and but it's not particularly long, 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 long. Because the player also had some ones. Okay, and then and then then you get to a shoe change, you know, and all of a sudden you go you get two, and you get two again, you get two again. But it's still bank is never going to pass two in that shoe. Right? Yeah. You know, so I don't know what the total player is. And we need Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's wrong. You know, we're looking for the shoes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, some people call it follow the twos, some call it read the twos. That's just second liner. Does everybody know what second liner is? No, okay. Yeah, second liner is when you have a situation like this. I know I'm blocking. But That's all right. Yeah, you have, it goes to two, well, it goes to two, goes to two, yeah. goes to two, goes to two, goes to two. Do you see what is happening? Yeah. All the way out to here. It's one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> 12. 12 times I went to two or more, and only okay. one, two, three, four, five. Five, six. It's only six times you, you know, not go to two or more. Okay? So that'd be a good example of the twos. And you want to see them sequentially. Sometimes you'll see, you know, uh, you'll see like t uh, two on bank, four on player, two on bank, six on player, Five on bank, you know, that's going to at least two. That's what second liners are. And you want to see you want to see as many groupings yeah. as possible. So if I if I saw this in a game, even though it hasn't happened, me personally, once I saw that, when that bet went over there, when it went to blue, I would bet that second. Got it. Okay? I if that won, which it did, I would bet that one. And even though that lost, I'd still say there's a good chance it's gonna keep going. So you can, you know, let, lose some, you know, win most. 
we do <laughs> we have we do have uh, started betting three in a row after the four three and then you got two in the middle there. Um, the possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, if you have, if, well, here I brought. <laughs> Hold on one second. One of the reasons second liners are so good is it's, it's, a, 50, it's, a, it's 50 percent of the events too in the shoot. Yeah. One to two is half of the events. Two to three is 25 percent or 12 and a half. 15, 25, and 12 and a half. Yeah, 12 and a half. 12 and a half. So the farther you go down the the round chain, the, the less uh, the percentage, the percentage of play it is. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. hey, I mean, if you just look at the threes, you know, if you draw a line, if, you, if I could draw a line on there, you can see how many times it goes to at least the three, whether it stops or not. You know, um, and then in fact, then it started one to four. Okay. The numerical value of the cards, we spent a lot of time talking about that today. You know, it's on the app. Um, just sometimes the bank, for whatever reason, would get the best card, or the player, for whatever reason, would get the best card. Somebody mentioned that I used to play that in Mississippi. I used to play, you know, I, I would literally keep track of the cards. And if I noticed that the bank or player, one of them was getting the best cards, I would bet accordingly. It just happens. It's just the way the shoes are shuffled. Okay, no bet, we talked about that. Okay, V87, does everybody know what V87 is? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, then we'll have to talk about it. Triggers, pattern recognition, uh, I think you remember this morning I said, yeah, but look, you've got, you got a dragonfly, yeah. you got another dragonfly, you got a butterfly, you got another butterfly, that's uh, like pattern recognition, okay? Or if you just see, you know, sometimes you'll see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, or you'll see an ascending pattern where, or descending, you know, where the, like three, two, one, kind of like the M21. Yeah. And you'll see that three or four times in the shoe. So when you're, you know, that's, that, that makes it a pretty good bet as you see it. Okay. Shoe changes. Probably one of the most important concepts on that sheet of paper is shoe changes. Does everybody know what a shoe change is? Does anybody? I like the definition. Yeah. Basically, if we had the shoe that was up when Eric was up here, where we just couldn't win those first disparity bets, remember? And then all of a sudden, the shoe went one, 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 two. One, 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 two. One, 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 one. That's a definite shoe change. So a shoe change is simply. Lots of times the shoe will be divided, there'll be th there can be two or three shoe changes in the shoe. So, so you'll have maybe, uh, it'll start out and you'll have like one, 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 two, one, one. That's the start of the shoe. Then all of a sudden you've got four, five, four, three, four. And then it'll go back to, you know, one, one, one. <laughs> and that happens. I mean, yeah, can like, like, kind of touch on that. This happened to me last night at Gold Coast. Um, yeah. The first 20 hands, I could not win. I got upset, took a break, a couple of minutes, came back to the second half of the shoe, and it was just, it, flew, it was beautiful. Yeah. And I, I mean, I got my money back, and that's how good it was. I couldn't lose on the second half of the shoe. Well, that's a perfect shoe change yeah, in that shoe right there. First half was, Basically, all yeah. the singles and opposites, well, one little run, and then a group of joint multiples. And what, then, what you said, <clears throat> right in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it definitely yeah. changed. And, my assumption is it's going into a third shoe change. If that shoe kept playing out, it would probably change. So, and so the idea is when you see that, that would be considered a at least a better bet. May not be the best bet, but it's it's you know everything's risky about it. I mean, let's face it, it's a, you know 50 50 game, but it would be considered a better bet. You know, if you see like that one shoe, especially that Eric had up this you know a little bit ago uh, that we just talked about. Okay. Follow the winning player. It's kind of a. It's kind That's of why like, so many people follow me. All yeah. The time. I'm, I'm even in the yeah out here. Out are door. you going to pull those girls on Fremont? Are you going to play Bacher? Yeah. Hey, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. Play Bacher? yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I think I've seen that, that thing about a thousand times. I'm opening for Chicago tonight. I'm going to warm up the crowd with yeah, my comedy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Follow the winning player. 
you mentioned rain that last week, you couldn't win. Okay? Right. There, but you might have looked at there, there might have been somebody at the table that for whatever, whatever they were doing, whatever they, you know, they're winning most of their bets. There's nothing wrong, even though you don't know how they're doing it, with follow them. That's what a lot of people do, by the way. Right. At the goal and you're right, because the guy next to me, oh. he was winning. <laughs> yeah. But I was so concentrated on, on the shoe, you know, I mean, I'm like zoning. But I just had to get up and leave. But yeah, he was, he was doing good. I'm the guy next to me. Lots of times you'll even see most of the table will wait until a certain person places their bet. Mm -hmm. And then they'll bet at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, I know mm -hmm. you're just, just be careful that you're not in the position that one guy's winning and you're trying to make this decision as you're losing and realize the fact that he's winning because he's betting the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, you're excused. <laughs> okay, most common, recent most common versus yeah. least common. Uh, what's the RMC stuff? What's that? What's the RMC? Recent most common. Oh, recent most common versus. Right. Right. So like if uh, <clears throat> if yeah if you were if you were out of here it's kind of you know up and down so then you get into this strong area let's pretend it goes a little bit further um, then the recent most common would be whatever whether it's two is going to three going to four whatever it is okay or it's all ones or it's on it's on the form it's explained you know at least at least common it just means in a shoe uh, you need this out. Well, here I'm going to say that. In a shoe, the average shoe, if, if it played out to the long-term statistics perfectly, you'd have 18 events of one. An event is simply one before it changes, okay? There's, there's an event, there's an event, that's an event, that's an event. So you'll have a, an average of 18 ones in a row, okay? Th this is just over a long period of time, but sometimes you'll see it in the shoe. You'll have nine, which is half of 18, twos in a row. Well, go to two. This being a two. That's a two, that's a two. You'll have four and a half, so four to five times, where it'll go to three and stop. Then you'll have two, it's just the half life. And then it'll go to 2.25, excuse me, for four, and, and on and on until it's 100%. Okay, so what you could do when you're playing is if you look at the shoe and you see that it is not, you know, like this shoe would be kind of a abnormal shoe. You know, you know, this isn't real normal. But what I'm saying though is, is that you're gonna be able to look at a shoe over periods, that's what you wanna to get to, where you could look at a shoe and say, this is not behaving within normal bounds. For instance, I think it was Keith and I, but we played a shoe not too long ago where it only had five ones in the whole oh, shoe. Yeah. Yeah, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you see that something like that, when it, we, you know you're supposed to have 18, because I'm gonna hand that out in a minute. When you see something like that, you wanna bet that the ones are going to two or more. Okay? Okay, the two that I added, attached multiples. Okay. Let me get you a better example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a perfect. Yeah, there's a good one. These are attached multiples. Mm -hmm. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Multiple, multiple. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Yeah, so, and the only one that didn't, you know, didn't go was this one right here. I mean, this one, it, 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 it went, yeah. It went. Yeah, it went. It went. See, that's a good second liner. Yeah. I'm sorry about my back's here, but I can't see it. Either. But uh, that's a perfect second line uh, in area of the shoe. So attach multiples. Uh, just watch for them and you'll see. You'll start noticing. Okay? That's just where two or more is followed by a two or more is followed by a two or more, et cetera, et cetera. And, and just like in this example, it, it happened six times. Do you jump in to make a bet after two or? Wait for uh, I usually wait till you for two. I, I usually do two. After two? Yeah, then I, then I would say it's an attached multiple. So when the next one comes up, yeah, I'm going to say it's going to go multiple. So you would do a 30 minute uh, yeah. putting it back. Yeah, and if, if the third one works out, then go to the fourth one. 
but you don't you don't bet for it to switch. You wait for it to switch, mm -hmm. and then you start going down again. Okay. Yeah, eventually it'll stop, just like it stopped there. But. Okay. MDB. Million dollar Bach run. <laughs> Notice it says sometimes. Does, does everybody know? Have you seen what MDB is on the form? No. Okay. Here's a good. There's a pretty good example. Do you notice how how many times it goes to three and stops? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Okay. So we had a system that not many people use, but this is an opportunistic thing. Some people will bet that after, like in this case, three threes without a four or more, they'll bet that that one will go to four. That it won't go to four. What's that? That it will go to four. will go to four. Yeah. The problem is that the when system. It <laughs> well, that's the problem. The problem system was based on a, a negative progression. Yeah. Uh -oh. So when it comes to three again, this is what, right out here. Okay. okay. Well, that one's got to go to four. But you're betting two units instead of one. Well, didn't go. Comes to the end. Didn't go. Now you're betting four units. So you've bet you've bet seven units. Yeah. You know. Um, so it's just that's why it says sometimes. Because sometimes it, it works. You know, sometimes it, it will be the the fact that two's going to three it worked there. Yeah, two's going to three, whatever. Um, the, the fact that it, it, you see it happen, you'll see it happen fairly often. You know, but but don't bet the ranch on it. And and you know we, we finally stopped playing it mostly because what was happening is people were going six and just like that shoe that just looked at how many times well it went to three or yeah. seven times before it went to four. You know, so you you lost a lot of money. You know, betting on a lot of units. Okay, so. What I I gotta go so, take that shoe out. That was a funny one. So what I do to help me, myself, and others, is I encourage them to and everybody can make it however they want, to make their own playbook. Okay? Because you take this to the casino with you. I went to uh, Office Depot one day and I said I had a Stations Casino card, and I said, make me cards that look like this on good stock. You know, it's just, just you know, all this, it said, it said uh, Palace Station and um, Bacra. And I just said, take it up, take that off, and then I want you to bind it and put a cover on it. But you take this information and you cut it up, okay? Because you can take, and you know, it, it really, it's, it's Let's say you're playing and you're having that problem that, well, Keith, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, that uh, Eric just described to us for. You just, you think you should be one of them, but you're not. Usually the answer is going to be in your, your point. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Jerry, you can pull that up for everybody to see. He just took the same thing and put it on the back of his clipboard. So it's a front of his clipboard. Okay, so those are some important concepts. Okay, so we got the no bet, bad bet. Okay, everybody understands these. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Now, okay, let's get to the good stuff. I told you that this was going to be basically about shoe entry, making the decision when and if and why to enter a shoe. Okay, pass those around. That's good stuff. Now we get into it. I kill myself. I'm going to work it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Give me that. So, what I really wanted to talk about, we call it momentum buck run for a reason. Every shoe you play, no matter what happens, whether you play five hands or you play the whole shoe or whatever, will have some momentum to it. It could be positive momentum. It could be, it's all moving in the direction of strong side. It could be, you know, whatever. So for shoe entry, these are some of the things, things, things that we can consider. The first thing is frequency of events. Does everybody know what those numbers mean there? 
Yes. So we just okay. There's three kinds of shoes in my opinion. There's the kind that, however you are playing, whatever methodology you choose to use, whether it be from the forum or something else, okay, you're going to find a hook. I, I found over a period of time, roughly 40% of them, you're going to say, oh, this, this was a pretty easy shoe. You know what I mean? This really was not that tough of a shoe. Can I, I, can I, I'm sorry, can you move just a little bit? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. So that's about 40% of the shoes. The next 40 is the shoes that you have to work on. Meaning, you know, you, you get up two units, you go down to zero again, you get up three units, you go down to minus one. Those are the shoes where you've got to know the kind of stuff that the form talks about and how to use it and when to use it or not to play. Okay? But that gives you about 80% of the shoes that I consider to be winnable. That last 20% are shoes that they have no disparity. It, there's no pattern, like the beginning of that shoe that Eric showed us. You know, um, you, could, you could have whole shoes like that, where there's just no, there's nothing to hang your hat on. And, and that happens. Those are the shoes that you got to recognize, like I would have gotten out of that shoe, Eric. But before, it didn't I know it got good? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I would have said, hey, I'm going to go try to find another shoe, or I'll wait for the next one, or whatever, you know. <clears throat> the uh, Baker player count. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is how do you figure out how to enter a shoe and when? Okay? Well, the Baker player count is shown. That's not a regular token word, but it's shown, right? Right. Yeah, let's say they're at 10 bankers and 9 players. So it's pretty even right now. But the 10 could have come all at once. It could have come 2, 2, 2, 2. You know what I mean? Okay. So the, the, the thing that we used to do a lot, remember when we were doing NOR as a system, yeah. was the OR count, okay? Do, does everybody know what an OR count is? Opposite repeat. Opposite repeat. repeat. All it is is how many opposites versus how many repeats, okay? And that will give you a clue. Let's just say you look at a shoe and it's going like this, you know what I mean, you can't figure it out. But then you look at it closer and you realize, oh my gosh, there's like 40 opposites and only 20 repeats, you know? Now how do you, how, does everybody know how to count? Walk up to a shoe, there's 25 hands played. Does everybody know how to count the OR count real fast? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. You might wanna write this down. Okay. You talked this last session. What's that? You talked this last year. That's yeah, it's, it's critical, it's a critical yeah. for the shoe entry. Okay. When you walk up to a shoe, here's a good, we'll use this one. Yeah. Okay? You can't have an opposite or repeat until the second event, or the second uh, hand, right? Right. Right. Okay, so if you just count all the ones, all the way across, somebody counts those up real quick, then don't ignore everything else. Just how many ones are there? But where they don't, you know, just, yeah. just like that. That's four right there. How many is it? 13. 13. Um, no, total. Total on the top line. Oh, oh, top. oh. The top line. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have a. Pointer. Oh, dear. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. Right. right. Whatever. So subtract the first. Okay. So, all you want to do is say it was, was it 23? Yes. Okay. So, it's really 22 because you can't, that first one doesn't okay. count. Okay. Right? Oh, the first line doesn't count. Yeah. That's the first correct. one doesn't count. That's, that's correct. So, every one of these is an opposite. Every single one of these is an opposite to what happened previous to it. Right. right. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah so it's right. 23 minus 1, because you can't have that first one. Right. Right. It's 22. Okay. okay, 22. So, can somebody quickly tell me uh, what the repeat count would be? I mean, the opposite count. Other than just 20, 22. What's 22? 3 blues and 3 reds repeating. 10. 25. 
plus plus three. Two, four, or six, minus three. Eight, three, 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 three. No, don't count four. the first one. Oh, I mean, they're all opposite. Every everyone is opposite. Yeah, everyone is opposite to what happened previous to it. Right. right? Yeah. Okay. So if there's, your your answer is right. If there's 23 in total, you got to drop the first one. There's 22. 22. How many hands total have been played? 46. What's 46 minus 22? 24. 24. That's how many repeats there are. <clears throat> I don't know, I didn't count them, but that's, it should be how many there are, if the numbers are correct. So real quick, you can walk up to a shoe at the Gold Coast, stand back, look at it, and say, okay, you know, this is a good opposite repeat count. It's, it's disparity, you know what I mean? It's not exactly the same or whatever. Um, and so one of the things you want to look for in terms of shoe entry op opportunities is the OR count. And the, the fastest way to do it is just look at the top line, subtract one, and then look at the total hands played, subtract that first number from that, and that's the number of repeats. So you don't have to go to this one, two, three, four. It doesn't tell us the hands they'll have to Does everybody understand what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure, because it's, it's critical. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah, you sit there and you go, well, I don't know if I want to play this shoe or not. I, this isn't a bad one, I don't know. You know, but if you get that piece of information, it's it's um, opposites and repeats are intrinsic to almost all of our BTC systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you need to you need to know the information anyways. But how to how to walk up to a shoe? I don't care if it's at hand ten or hand thirty or even hand fifty. You want to at least know that number. Doesn't take long to figure it out. Once you once you practice a little bit, you'll you'll see. Okay, OTBL and TBL count. Okay. How how would one suppose that they might get an OTBL and TBL kill? Okay, I'll tell you. What is it? Okay, <laughs> OTBL <laughs> is opposite time before last. Opposite that's, time. That's O two. We also call it O two. Okay. Oh right. Okay. T TBL T is the yeah. same as time before last. So if if. So you're going to count the full back. That can be three. Let's say let's say this hasn't happened yet. This blue circle. Okay. Very big sit. But three happened before. Okay. 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 This one would be if you want to figure out what TBL is. That was TBL to the it's first the second one. one. Right. So if you want to continue with TBL for whatever you know whatever reason. Yeah. Okay. But you have to the OTBL count. This is pretty simple. Now you probably have to write this down. Okay. The only way you can have an OTBL thing, one OTBL, okay, is if you have a one, a confirmed one. Let's go out to the second uh, uh, banker, so the second banker event. Okay. Okay. It's confirmed by the player. Okay. Then the next one's confirmed. If you have a one, a confirmed one, okay, and you get a one after it, but you don't know if it's confirmed yet or not, that is not OTBL. OTBL would be the second if you had a one and a two. So in this example, all the way over here, how many OTBL are between here and here? There's one. This first one is not OTBL, that's TBL. Okay? Again, here, maybe I'll do it on the board. Okay. If you have a confirmed one, that's a, a player, whatever. Okay? The only way you can have an OTBL after a one is to have this and this. Right? That is not OTBL. That is OTBL. It's a second one. Conversely, after a two or more, okay, if it goes, let's say, let's say this is this situation. After a two or more, that's two or more, okay? That's OTBL. It's opposite, time before last, okay, because this was bank or player, this is bank. And if it goes here, that's OTBL. That's all you can have. 
no matter if this went that, 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 that wouldn't matter. You can only have those first two lines. So the, for the, the opposite repeat, you're concerned with line one. I call this line. All the way across. From the first blue dot all the way to that last blue dot. Okay, so you know how to do an OR count. Pretty, pretty quick standing up before you decide to sit down. Okay. OTBL and TBL, that's a little harder. But again, how many, just take a moment and after what I just said, remember, after a two or more, you've got the opportunity for up to one, two, that's it, OTBL. Okay? After a two or more, that's OTBL, but it didn't go down. After a one or more, okay, the first one is not OTBL. So can anybody tell me roughly how many OTBLs are there? trying to do is look at this. You're looking at the shoe like this. 19. As if it is, it is I think it was 19. I count on the purple part. I think it's 19. Okay. Told you. <laughs> That's why I'm staying away from that over there. <laughs> but um, if you can if you, okay, so let's let's say you do OTBL. Okay, again, you cannot have until you got. Let's say you got a imaginary line drawn underneath there. Okay. Okay. If you have 19 OTBLs and you can't have an OTBL or a TBL until after until the third shoe of the hand, can't have the first one. Can't have that opposite repeat one, then it goes OTBL or TBL. Okay? So after the third, so it'd be right there. That'd be the first opportunity if it wasn't the first, you know, first uh, event of the thing. So if you know, let's say, would it say 19? Yes. Okay. We know it can't be the first two hands, right? We, we, it, it, this is, the, you know, the first hand. That's the opposite, I mean, the repeat. Okay, that's another repeat. So it can't, it can't be anywhere in there. So again, you have to start to subtract. How many total hands are here? 46. 46. Okay. Minus 2, because you can't get an OTBL until at least the third thing in the shoe. The third hand. The third hand. So 46 minus uh, 2, right? Yeah, yeah 46, 46 minus, minus 2. Yeah, minus 2. 44. That's 44. And we said we had 19 OTBLs. 44 minus 19 is 25. So that means you got 25 TBLs. Right. And that's a lot of information, I know. But it gives you a basis for making a decision, helping you make a decision. Should I get in here in this shoe? Or, or you know, because you look at it and you say, well, you know, I'm, I don't know, you know. I mean, this is this is a mathematical decision. This is this is the math of the game, as Eric described it. This is the, the you know the uh, I forget the word you use, Eric, but the the language, the, story. the language, the story of the shoot. This is the story yeah. of the shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting there. So with that information, where you said we had nineteen um, time for last, and then twenty-five. But nineteen OTBLs. Yeah. 25 TBL. So then do you do a disparity there and say, okay, since... You, you, you could. What, it, what you're really trying to do, uh, Janice, is you're trying to decide, does this shoe have enough disparity, that's why I put the word disparity, that somehow I want to get in it. We, did, we know the player bank account is in there. Okay? We know now the Oscar repeat account because we did it. Okay. So now the second one, it, once you do this enough times, really, you can walk up to a shoe and just, okay, there's 19 of those, that means there's 25 of those, that means, you know. And it's gonna give you a basis for do you wanna get in that shoe or not. If it's, if it's even, if it's like 50-50, I'm gonna say that generally speaking, that's probably not gonna be a great shoe. 
because if you don't have any disparity to hang your hat on, you know, it's just it's going like this. So it's like throwing darts, you know. What would you consider a decent disparity in terms of, you know, between two? Well, like in that example of 1925, I think that's a decent disparity. Okay, that's the difference of uh, six. six. Yeah. But remember, the, earlier we talked about the recent most common, and but remember that, that a little bit ago? Okay. What you really want to do is if you're, you know, it's, a, it's that group, the chart with the green, the uh, yellow and the red, okay? If you're 15 hands in, you know, somewhere in here, your decision might be different than if you're out here, okay? Because of what's happened in the shoe. So you have to have, if you're gonna make an intelligent decision, should I get in this shoe or not? You have to have something that's got disparity, you know? Otherwise, I would recommend, I mean, you can get lucky, you know what I mean? We all do sometimes. <laughs> Except we're all right. Yeah. No. So we're going to do some years. <laughs> notice, I, notice I turned my back. <laughs> See, uh, I missed the second part of that calculation. Uh, it was total hands minus two. Uh -huh. And what was the second part? No, that, uh, what, what did it say? 40, so, yeah, 46 minus 46 two. minus two is 44. Yeah. Okay. If it's 19 OTBLs, ah. then it's 25 TBLs. Okay. okay. And you know, here, here, well, here's the proof. Do, do I want to get in this shoe? TBL, 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 OTBL, TBL, TBL. I mean, out of the last whatever eight hands or whatever, they've all been uh, except for one. They're all TBLs. So if I was, gonna, if I personally were to get in this shoe. I'd probably get in, and I'd probably bet that to go to five. Okay. If you wanted to bet it to switch, it's 50 50. Okay. So the OTBL and TBL counts are, in terms of making a decision to enter a shoe, are important. And, and this just sounds like rocket, this isn't rocket science. Once you do it a few times, you'll go, you know, oh, okay. So you've written those numbers down on a card or whatever, with your notebook or whatever you have. And so it's kind of telling you what's happened latest is TBL has really come on. So that 25 that we came up with for the total answer, yeah. a lot of them were just happened in the, in the recent. So this shoe has got a good TBL component and it's, it's what's happened latest in the shoe. So that means that the momentum of the shoe is moving towards TBL. Okay. And you would want to compare that with your opposite repeating, you know, numbers and stuff too. Okay. V87. Okay. Does everybody know what, I think I asked this before, does everybody know what V87 is? Okay, you don't know. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Well, V87 is a system we have where what you do is you treat the banker side differently than the player side. So you have, you've actually like played two shoes. You're playing the player side and you're playing the banker side. And you're trying to decide, are the ones, unconfirmed ones on the player side, are they going to, going to two, which confirms it as a one. So you, can, you make a little note, one went to two, and then what happened to the two? Did the two go to three or did the two stay two? There's a place to mark it, okay? Over a period of time, you do that for the bank side and the player side, again, sometimes V87 will give you two or three units easily in the shoe, just because you're watching. We you think I get a thing? <laughs> All right, are the, ones, are the ones mostly staying one on the bank side? The answer is yes. Okay, so if that if that was a banker right there, the next ship, if the next hand were a banker, I bet it would stay one, based on V eighty seven. Okay, what's happening on the player side? Well, the ones go to two, one, 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 one. one. Well, they're mostly staying one. Okay, but if they go to if they do go to two, you can see the two goes to three. The two goes to three. The two goes to three on the player side. Okay, this one did not. So you, you, you know, you win that one, probably lose that one. 
when that one and when that one, based on B87. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. you remember, you set, the, you set the card up. There's a good example that Keith did on the forum. Okay, it's, it, the thing is called V87. We used to call it the 87% solution. Okay, and all that is, is 50% of all events are gonna be one in a row. 25% are gonna be two in a row. And 12.5% are gonna be three in a row and stop. Okay, that's long-term math of Baccarat. And that adds up to 87 and a half. Okay, so we call, call it the 87% solution. Because Keith came to me, or it was after a seminar. And I, he said, well, can we, can, how do we make 5D easier or whatever? And I said, I don't know, because the, the more math you take away from it, the less reliable it will become, okay? And then one day, a couple months later, I just, it, literally, it just hit me, I said, we don't have to play. We just play the ones, the twos, and the threes. That's eighty-seven percent of all of the. You know, if you can concentrate, focus, and win the eighty-seven percent, you know, with any regularity, then you don't need that last part where they went to four and five. Okay, that's just that's a judgment call, but that you make. But what you don't do is, let's say that. Uh, uh, this actually doesn't have a good example of it. You want a different shoe? Yeah, yeah, just throw one of them. Let me see if I can. Okay. What, what, you, what you don't want to do, you want to bet, do you see, do you see how the, we have these runs here, mm -hmm. out here? You can see that, you know, the player wants the total, player 30, uh, back there at the 43. What you don't want to do is, you can keep betting that if you want. You know, to get bedded down, and you lose that one. But it's after that one in this particular case that you want to bet on the banker again. Okay, don't bet for it to switch. Don't bet against the runs ever. Ever, you'll lose more money. I lost more money <laughs> in back ride over the over the beginning years than uh, you know uh, than anything else. Betting against the run. Betting against the run. That's correct. So you really want to, uh, the, the V87 tool, it's explained on the forum. Yeah, What's it called? Yeah, I think it's called it, it, V87. V87, yeah. V87. It's a real, you'll, you, but you gotta, gotta understand you're playing two separate, you're playing one shoe separately. Because it gives you more information if you break it down. Okay? Would you call it three or one? It, what's that? Would you I'm call three, three a run? I'm going to three a run. Bet the fourth? Well, in an 87% solution, you stop at the three. Stop at three. You, 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 and, and then you just do, if you want to bet the fours and five, whatever, that's up to you, but that's not 87%. 87%, right. right. you stop at three. So you had a strong side, you had a whole bunch of twos in that color, and you had a three, you might go, okay, this you, you, yeah, 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 and then, but it, then you, you could say, okay, I, I, I'm going right. to keep playing. But, but if you're going to play, play the run. Don't play against it. That's, I, I don't know how many people, you know, you you know, played with over your back right careers or whatever, but you'll see a lot of people bet against the run, yeah. right? And it goes to four, yeah. and then it goes to five, and then it goes to six, and then it goes to seven, yeah. you know, or, and, you try to get and, in. and you've probably seen it at, go to 12 to 15, you know what I mean? And everybody, people, I, I don't think they do it as much anymore as they used to, but they would bet against, uh, it can't go to six. <laughs> oh, it went to seven, well, it can't go to eight, bet against, you know, you lose a lot of money that way. So. And then they complain after they've seen it. <laughs> no, they lose no, it. Yeah, no, then they, they, they say, I'm going all in. <laughs> oh, I have a question about if you're betting the run, though, and you see that run. I saw you last night, by the way, at Go Coast. <laughs> but huh? Would you um, um, increase your bet as you go or keep your bet consistent? I think that's a, that's a uh, personal decision. If I, if I were to do it, I would bet like a one two, it's called a one two loop. So you bet one, mm -hmm. you win. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it, it's up as you win, not up as you lose. Okay, you bet one and you win. Bet the two units now, because you're really yeah. playing somewhat with the house money. You know? yeah. right. If that wins, go back to one. So it's oh. one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If the first one loses, you bet one again, if you're gonna bet. Yes. Kevin, I might have been uh, practicing uh, VA7 incorrectly. I have a question for you. Uh, at the end, where it has the three, uh, banks. Yes. 
if your disparity showed at least two where it stayed three, then the way I've been practicing, my next bet would be uh, the bank. I mean, uh, the player. Yeah. And that's going against the run, even though the disparity says it will stay at three. So right. Right. I, I consider a run more like a, I consider four more. I think yes, I would. I, so, I consider a run to be four or more. Oh, okay. Four or more. So it would be a correct bet to, if you, your disparity said, and you had two more. Um, on that last bank? On that three, and it, it was going to stay three. Uh -huh. So your next bet would be player. So that would be correct? If, it, if, he had, if the three went to a five? Is that what you're saying? Or? Where the, that, you're looking at the last three banker, right? Um, where it has the three uh, repeats. Yeah. And then if the disparity said that you should, that that was going to stay at three, three stays three, that's I was correct. betting that the player would come up next, and that's incorrect. Yeah. Okay. The, the thing to understand about the 87, or the, 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 the way I created it, so to speak, I mean, I didn't, this isn't, I didn't make up those statistics or anything, you okay. know, it's just, um, the, the idea is V87 handles everything up till three. Anything you do after that, keep betting on the run, you know, to go for, you know, but the thing not to do is don't switch. Don't, the ones are the, like the linchpin of everything that goes on in a shoot, the, the top line, I'm sorry, the top line, okay? And, and you know, uh, in this particular case, you, you can see you've got a number of times where you know, there's five, there's seven, there's a four, you know, um, four over there. It, it, it's my own personal mindful way of betting, okay? Some people would say, to your point, player's gonna stop at three, or bank's gonna stop at three, whatever. So then, I'm gonna bet player, yeah. okay? But you never do that. I don't do that. I okay. used to. That's good enough for me. I used you to. Wait for, you wait for the next game. You wait for the next one. Then you decide what you're gonna do. You decide what you're gonna do, based on the player side. Now you're, okay. play, now you're on the player side now. If you went from the bank side, now you're over to the player. Now you gotta decide what to do with that one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna confirm one. Yeah, I was practicing that incorrectly then, but what you say so what satisfies me. That's wait to see it. Yeah, that's it's, it's, you can take a no bet. Yes. Take a no bet and you, 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 so you will save yourself a lot of money. So you time. and your, like if you had a four confirmed, another four confirmed, another uh, four confirmed, and then now you come with a three, you'd say just, uh, you you okay, now let you, it go. You stop at three on V87. Right, you right. stop okay. at three. But if you had a four, four, and a four, yeah, I'd better go four. <laughs> but not based but on the Yeah, it's not based on that. Yeah. And if there was like four, then some more, then another four, some more, another four. Go with the four. And assuming, would you assume it's going to end at four and then bet <coughs> no. opposite? No. So yeah, you would you would no. And wait until the next one. I wouldn't bet. That, that would be what I consider a okay bet, but not a good bet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, the shoe doesn't have the shoe doesn't have any memory. It doesn't know that it's stopped at four all those times. You do, but that that's 50-50, the next bet's 50-50. So I would save that bet till it's switched. And then we decide. Yeah. And then decide. Based on what's happening on the player side. Like I say, you gotta play two. It's, it's explained really well on the four. Okay, there's a, it's called B87. Mm -hmm. And um, it is a really, when new people come and they ask me how to play, you know, or what, how do you play or whatever, I used to, because you know, nobody can get 5D at first, you know what I mean? But then, once we come up with V87, that is so easy to teach somebody how to play. It is. And, and, and you're not gonna win every bet, you know, because yeah. that uh, two with Kevin one to three might not do it this time, you know, so. The math um, is in your favor to bet repeat on that. If it's gone four, yeah. three times already, the fourth time it's likely to continue on. Yeah. It's already on that four. Yeah. Because fifty percent of every bet is going to be the opposite of repeat. So fifty percent of the time it's going to stay four. Fifty percent of the time it's going to go to five. Twice as much it's going to go. It's going to stay three. Yep. Okay, pattern. 
That was the basis of MDB. If you have three of the same event happen already, the fourth time, it's more likely to have a continue on. There's all sorts of patterns that will occur you know, very regularly in violence. Okay? <clears throat> the first of which we talked a little bit about earlier. Um, I call them butterflies and dragons. Yeah, I was going to ask for a question. So that you can... yeah. <laughs> How do you determine what's yeah. simple? Okay. Forget everything else that's happened in the shoe, okay? If you had this player, bank, bank, player, and you've seen this happen before in the shoe, okay? Whether, whether this keeps going, it's just that it's got one, however, and one. Mm -hmm. Okay, after it goes to four, I call it dragon tail. Right. Okay, you are, I, if I've seen several of these butterflies and dragonflies, like I saw in that shoe, remember as I pointed out, uh -huh. it, it, it happened four times in a row. Yeah. I would say, I'm gonna bet that it's gonna stay. Now it's a butterfly. Yeah. Does that make sense? This is a dragonfly. Um, okay. okay, or you're gonna see patterns like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you've had, not this particular pattern, but if you've had dragonflies and butterflies in the shoe, lots of times you'll get 10 or 12 of them. Okay? You're going to want to bet this right here. If you're going to make a bet, not a great bet, but it's a, it's a good bet, you're going to bet that it changes so that it, the integrity of this, you know, and this will have started off like, you know, uh, this will have to be a one in here. And you'll see these almost every shoe. You'll see at least a couple. You're betting to see that the picture stays complete. Yes, yes, that's correct. To make that picture complete. That's correct. Yeah. And again, these are just little things. There's one. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. There's, there's one before that even. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. There's one. There's, there's, there's a long one right after it. So there's a whole bunch of them. Do you also bet? Modify. Kevin, do you also bet, let's say you've seen a butterfly, you've seen a butterfly, you got two of them. Yes. As you've seen, do you bet to complete the butterfly? Completed meaning what? Meaning, let's say you got two, then you got three, then you got one. You say, hey, this looks like it's going to be a butterfly. Sorry, yeah. a butterfly. Yeah. 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 If, you, if you've got, you know, if you've seen a, you know, a fair number of them. Now, now, there may be some compelling thing, though, that Hansen would tell me, you know what, right, don't make that bet. You know what I mean? So even, even though it's happened, you know, don't make it because the disparity is getting so out of whack. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Bad. And right. you're going against the disparity. But there are other mitigating factors that. Is it mitigating? Yeah, the last times will be mitigating factor. Yes. But there's all sorts of patterns. Yeah. Good example what, is if you see a V87 and says, okay, this hand's supposed to two stay two and it's a butterfly. Yes. You know, yeah. combine that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. That double. <laughs> <laughs> that double. Yeah. So again, it, if, if it stops at three, that's a, that's a butterfly. If it goes to four or more, that's a dragon tail. There's one right over there. Yeah. Then we're going to six or seven. Okay? Okay. Anybody else have any favorite patterns they like to play? Here, I'll show you another one. That's, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. Well, there you got it right there. Yeah, it's a step ladder, right? Yeah. Could be more than three. Yeah. Sometimes it's four if you want to. Yeah. What, what uh, we have a forum member that calls, he calls it uh, M21. M is a multiple, okay? Whatever. Yes. Yeah. And then two follows it, stops, and then a one stops. M21. I don't see an example here, but it can also be with space in between. In other words, all bankers, not just a combination. Yeah. Yeah. It would, oh, here's one. M21 yeah. right there. Yeah. Which one? What is it? The four, two, four the banks, two oh. banks, and the one bank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. Four, two, you would bet this go to player after seeing this. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's that. Any other patterns? Do uh, you guys have any patterns you like to play or see? Mike, do you have anything that you look for? No. Okay. Blow everybody's mind on a different perspective when you're ready. <laughs> well, completely change the pace. If you, if you look closely at the shoes and you kind of, I don't want to say study them, but you analyze them, you'll see ascending, descending patterns, you know, fairly often. And if, if you've seen one in the shoe, you know, you go, okay, then if it happens again, that might be when you make you structure your bedding, you know. And you're not going to get everyone. Sometimes, you know, it's, you know, it's just, yeah. it's sometimes it's gambling. No, it's gambling. <laughs> it's gaming sometimes. Oh, yeah. no, he says yeah, it's we're gaming. Having fun. Okay. <laughs> it's not gambling, it's gaming. No. Okay. Uh, the 10 best bets we already talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you entering the shoe? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to back right and we're going to do some examples. And then table selection, you guys all know about that, you know, mm -hmm. just choose wisely if you're coming into the shoe. The uh, derived roads, you know, you got some insight uh, <clears throat> today from uh, Eric, some good insight. Uh, if you choose to follow those pat types of patterns, you know, and make decisions based on that. The ultimate Bakrata, you know, Eric, mm -hmm. Keith developed. I have a question on, on that. I use an iPhone. Any get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't work on that. Uh, look, uh, let's see. I got a job, a daughter I take to judo oh, I have to leave. Um, <laughs> okay. No. You can seriously though, you could get a you can get a used one of these at a store for I I a phone Keith, care store for fifty or hundred bucks. Keith. Yeah. Well, maybe Keith. Maybe. How much more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's like it's an Android. Much yeah. Android. Yeah. Yeah. Android. Okay, we don't know. Get into the shoe. Yeah, I think the last three or four years. Good. Yeah. Well, Apple, Apple is fast. Okay. Okay, so now let's get down to the nitty gritty of shoe entry. I put the cards up there then, Kevin. You did what? The oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to pass it down. Thanks to Mookie, I guess, who gathered all these. I don't know if he said it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was Mookie. I had to pass on these. It would take about three to pass them around. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to play a little little exercise, okay? Everybody's looking tired. I know I'm feeling tired. So we're going to do we're going to do an exercise and I'm going to show you what I would consider the logical ways to enter shoes. Okay? So we have a choice. I can either, Keith can take uh, and put up a shoe with like eight or something. You want to do that? With eight hands? Yeah, eight, eight, eight hands. It, and it, yeah, the real hand, but don't show me the ninth one. Here it says seven. <laughs> Can I use the app? If you mouse over it, too. <laughs> what? Can Let's I use you can see what hand. Oh, yeah. You mean, can you cheat? <laughs> so, so oh, you between this and this, if you put these in, or your, make your own playbook, but if you put them in, okay, um, you can walk up to a shoe and you can say, what is it? Is it oh, it's this. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'll get in this shoe, or maybe I won't. Okay, so. The beginning of what the do shoe. we have? This is the beginning of the shoe. Okay, so it's early. Right? Well, what do we have? We got five banks, three players, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got four opposites, three repeats, easy to count. Okay? We've got one OTBL, two OTBL, three OTBL, four OTBLs. Okay? Which means the TBLs have to be, remember, two less than the total. How many? That's eight. So, uh, then uh, six. There should be, um, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five. There should be like, do you have it there, Keith? Oh, it does not Okay, but again, it's, it's still early. Does anybody want to venture a guess as to whether they would get in the shoe and what they would, what basis would they use? 
Anybody? Well, if we all go out and say we're going to play together, you'd probably sit down and play the dance thing. You know? yeah. That's the bad thing about going out and playing together. Well, if we got to play something, you know. Yeah. I would want to wait for more hand tools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so I think I do too. Yeah. It's just one's two. So if I can sit down, I would wait for medicine yeah. though. You can stand while you're standing right Yeah, so this is a skipper here. Skipper. Yeah. It's, well, or okay. add some more, you know. Or we'll watch a couple more hands. There now we have. Now they're start getting into the middle mm -hmm. shoe. Now we're getting into the Now you see a pattern. Well, how they're bending their band? After the band, it's a big issue. Yes, strong band. Strong band. Did everybody band. hear that? Yep. Okay, we know that the strong side strong is side. one of our things we're looking for. Yep. And twos are going to three. Now, a lot of folks would wait till it goes opposite and bed bang. So. What's that? They wouldn't bet the four in a row. They'd bet it go wait yeah. till it goes opposite. Yeah. Yeah. That's you. It's, 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 it's early enough in the shoe that we don't need to be <laughs> piling on bets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But you, you've definitely got a strong side. Now, what do you have? Yeah. What do you see? What do you see a butterfly or a yep. eggplant? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see one, two, one two. of each? So this is one two minute baccarat and enter the shoe. Yeah. 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 This, this is this is like again, you're walking into the casino. You got your playbook with you. All in the bag. <laughs> However you keep it. <laughs> and you look back and you go, before you walk up to the table, you, you kind of rehearse again what, you know, what all this stuff is, okay? And you say, wow. Look at this. Here's the drag. Here's the drag. Oh, yeah. Here's the drag. But what do you also have? Two, one, one, unconfirmed one, unconfirmed one. Unconfirmed. But if I were going to take a, a gamble on this next bet, I personally would bet banker. Banker. Double bet. Anyone? Imagine that. Time to go. Remember, this for banker. This for player. Stop. <laughs> Stop. The fix is in. Okay, so let's put a different shoe up. <laughs> what about strong side here, Kelly? You gonna bet the next one here? What's that? You gonna bet bank? Yeah, we could bet. Yeah, that, that, that's a good point, Keith. We could. Yeah. yeah. Keep it going. Well, this is one that gets a little hairy because there's three multiples of two or more here. You know, it's kind of MDB. Well, you've also got you know, butterfly, dragonfly. That would say this is gonna be a player. Player. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, you know, you don't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't say that's all right. I was in there. Yeah. I followed yeah. the shoe. So, 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 it's, so it's, it's obviously a strong bank right now. So but, you wait. But the basic thing is, this might be one then to sit down and play. That's that's true. Okay. That's so you might make it to sit, and you hope that you get in early enough that yeah, you, you get take advantage because pretty pretty soon you're, 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 you're going to see. A shoot chain right here. Shoot chain. Maybe see another shoot one shoot. out here. But look how many. Look, look at. Look, we had a couple back here, right? Had butterfly, dragonfly. This is a butterfly. See? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's a fat middle. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. And now, now it's got the two there. That's certainly a dragonfly. Yep. That's it's a butterfly. That's a butterfly. So that, I'm just saying these patterns you're going to see quite often. And I don't know about the three, two, ones or anything there. I just didn't look. Yeah, there's a bank. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah. There's a bank in the beginning. Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work. All you need to do is get into there. From the bank one. Yeah. yeah. But as far as the three, two, and the bank two player, it didn't work. It's not just a bank one by itself. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know uh, that's something that uh, William would do down in Florida. I'm going to wait for two in a row player, not player. opposite two. Uh, <laughs> you know that, yeah, I mean. A bank only, yeah, two, one. Yeah. Look how the strong side continued. Yeah. yeah. One, 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 two, one, one, yeah. two, one, 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 unconfirmed. Perfect F3. I'll throw in an observation, too, when I was studying and doing some XTB research. The shoes that show strong patterns, typically when they, not typically, do your own research on it. When I saw shoes with strong patterns, when they switched, they used, they a lot of times changed to another strong pattern. This one's going from strong side TBL to OTBL. So, 
and then it goes back to, to one. Yeah. So it seems like in shoes that have a propensity to have a strong pattern, when they switch, the other pattern will stick as well. Okay. So wow. I can't say that as a rule, don't bet on it. Just do your, use your eyes, see, see if you see the same things. So let's see, we have. So he's saying. Oh, 69. Oh, it's probably not worth counting. I was gonna give, say, me a, give me a number. Somebody call out a number, I'll go to a shooter. Eight, yeah. well, eight number up to 9,000. Yeah. 72.40. 72.40. Take it out to about like 20 hands again. Huh? Take it like to 20 hands or something. Use the website randomgenerator.com. Randomnumbergenerator.com. <laughs> Pick your shoe out that way. That shoe's empty. <laughs> So we'll do yeah, so we're using that triangle concept. So we're up in the yellow area now. They're about so you want to do about a mid shoe entry in this? Yeah, one. to 20, 25. Yeah, that'd be good. GBL. <laughs> so far. There's <laughs> another 21. OT. <laughs> That's 20. That's 20. OK. So. You've got your stuff, mm -hmm. right? That you're going to keep and build your own list, whatever. What does anybody say in this show? Does anybody see anything? There's no wrong answer, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see second no, line. Second line. We get second line. line. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. See, see where she's talking? After the two, the first, you know, the three and then the two, would, I would have I would lost that next bet because it only stayed one. Okay, but I would have continued on until I lost two in a row. I would have then bet the this one. To go opposite? No. You would have yeah. Go player? to, go to, go to, I'd lose out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should oh, not bet. Out. Not bet. It. Yeah, not bet. No, I would have bet. I would have bet. Because oh. of the, the yeah. second liner. Five out of six. Or second. Second liner. Consecutively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with that one not being the six one. And now I'm a bit better. So again, now this is all the information you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have. So you really need to kind of understand what all these things are, so you can start identifying and noticing uh, this kind of stuff. You know, so would you enter here, Kevin? Would you enter? Would you enter? Banker and player about the same. What, yeah. What? I, yeah. I, I would. I would definitely. I would bet. That, a unit. I would <laughs> bet that. I bet that bank, it could be. I bet that the banker will drop. One unit on banker. Okay. Let's see. And I won Okay, time to go, go home. home. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry told me so. Oh, you're close to do, so. I'm up to go. <laughs> now, what, okay, so. The, are you going to stay now? Uh, becomes the situation. Right. Yeah, are you going to say that it's going to be two, 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 or are you going to bet that it's going to go to three? For me, first, wait to see. That's right. You would wait to see. That would be a good bet, to bet that that's going to go to three. So you're going to hold it? you had it. <coughs> no, but Kevin, you bet the run. What's that? You bet it. Uh, no, no, I would. Not when it's yeah. only two. Okay. Yeah, I would. It's really yeah, after it's four, four point. is when I call a run. Yeah. So you would wait to that. Yeah. Now you would bet the run. Yeah. So, so logically, what does the shoot tell me about three? Three to four. There stands. The there stands. Yeah. yeah. So there are to bet there. either that it's going to switch wait. or that it's going to go down is not a good bet. No. Right. Neither one's a good bet. Just wait. wait. Oh, so you're saying in a situation like, like this, skip. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Skip. Wait. 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 Yes. It's skip. only yes. It's happened three times. The two have been banned. One's in player. Wait till this opposite occurs. Even if that does go down. Okay. But don't bet it to, to, to the bet there. Okay. Now it's happening. Okay, and now we get it. And what was the reason? What, I'm sorry. What was the reason for waiting for waiting to not bet? Because because even though know, what's happening, there's past no three, confirmed three. You know, last two times, confirmed three, confirmed three, no yeah. four, unconfirmed three. Oh, why take the risk? I see. But also, only two confirmed three. It's not great to make that bet. Now you got to bet. Yeah. What bet? What this is an easy one. Yeah. What would you bet? Player. 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 Player.
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is one we talked about. Yeah, it's talking about NDB being a million dollar buck. Right. How many times do you think it would stay three? Now, I've seen it's like 12 stay three, you know? Yeah. Okay, so betting that to finally go to four is not a great bet. It's not. Yes. You know? Remember, a no bet that you don't make and don't lose, right. you just you just gain a unit. Yeah. Because you wouldn't, wouldn't have had you to have lost. Right. That's true. So you really got to hold on to your, you know? Um, no so we're gonna bet. No bet. Yes. 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 We're gonna wait. Yes. Here. You haven't seen it. No bet. Yeah. So that's a, it's, this is better than playing on the table because there's no. Lose. So now okay. we're gonna bet. <laughs> now exactly. we're gonna bet. Like bang. Now you're plus two, Kevin. Let's see if you got the three here. Oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! I've been robbed. You've been robbed. Yeah. I think I was more plus two, by the way. <laughs> Because of the two. Okay. No, I meant either, either way. Either way. Okay. Do you see? Does anybody see any good bets? No. no. What's, what's the banker player ratio? Just that curiosity. Uh, up on the top. On the top, 30, 37. 30, 37. There, so that's 55. That's about the same. Oh, that was that banker? Yeah. Banker has a lot. So the banker's stronger? Yeah. Yeah, by seven. By seven. Yep. Yeah. Um, player has gone to two. Or more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times now, yeah. and it's only stayed at one. Right. One, I go two, player. three. There's only two. I go player. Really 87. I two. go player. So, so yeah, a, a, reasonable, like a reasonable bet, a, not a great bet, not the best bet, but a reasonable bet would be to say that'll go down to player. Number one, it's two. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you know what I'm saying? We've done that. We've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we do it when it's your money? So <laughs> now the question you have is, is it going to go to three or is it going to, you know, create a... Yeah, it's a three they only won three, three times. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. It's five to two right yeah. now. So Stay two. Anybody? Well, okay, right. drop. Oh, it did drop. Uh, no, that's the so now, now you've got one, two, three, four, that's five. Really you've got four banker threes and you got two confirmed player, player threes and one unconfirmed. Yeah. So again, it's going to happen eventually, but I don't think it would not be a good bet yeah. to bet that that's going to go to four. It right. will eventually go to four. So the Kevin, um, we, uh, we would only want to bet on the last that's, that's yeah. Or no bet. Or no bet, yeah. <laughs> or no bet. No bet. Yeah, see, it didn't go. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> this is where MDB oh, would kill you if you were playing MDB. Because you keep you, you keep trying to chase that you know it's got to go to four it's got to go to four. I think I find MDB works better with complex bets, Kevin. Like, in complex, I mean by multiple event, like you know see the two independent the four zigzag there, mm -hmm. and then it only went to a three zigzag mm -hmm. stuff like that. Twos goes to three and threes goes to four. I like the complex kind of events or even a multiple two one. Uh, you know, type bet for MDB. You can make your own up. You know. yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, but you got to commit to three bets, though. Yep, yeah. that's the problem, and, that's, that's, yeah. and especially if it's a progression. Now right. you could do a one, two, three, but you're still at six units. No, yeah. No. Now John used to play it for bigger stakes, yes. and he would bet a one, one, two. Yeah, yes. you know, and it's all sorts of you know. That so, was okay. Let's try a different shoe. Bet the red for the oh, yeah, I bet the red for the So the there's five. the rest of the shoe. Nah, okay. Oh, ah, so there you go. Here's your two fours, a five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. We did run, but no, yeah, but Okay, so put, put a shoe up to Keith that's like maybe at up to like uh, An end of 35 shoe? hands. Up to 35? Okay. Yeah, then we'll, do, we'll get to the end All of the right. shoe. But yeah, we'll just stop at around 35. So you're about, at 35, you're about halfway through the show. Right, right. You know, yeah. Depending on the number of ties. Right. I'm looking at the total hands there. Oh, there's one. Let's go back. Okay, so 66 hands total. Yeah, that's, that's good. Good. This that's is enough. at the Margarita Casino. Okay, so let's go 35 hands. So I record every shoes that I play. Like I actually take a picture of the shoe, 
and I'm important? If I want to upload them, or how do I? Yeah, you, you put them in here. Just give it to you, or just put them in the form? It, it, I can actually do it myself? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it'll calculate all the stats and, you know. Okay. And then you can play them. I mean, for practice, <laughs> you can play one hand at a time, which that's what we're doing right now. Here's the internet. Uh, if, you, no. if you get the software, the phone first, then the software. <laughs> <laughs> I have you can, you can email. You can email the shoe to yourself. Right. And, that's, and then it's got, you know, one, two, that's three. That's true. To enter yeah. in, it's really easy. My problem is getting to SBI. You can ask him about that. Dennis, Dennis, could you do me a favor? Go to the front desk and ask them if they have paid this month's rent bill. Oh, okay, no need. She don't even hear me. Do I go or not? I'll give you a shortcut. Yeah. Hey, Kevin? Yes. Since so, so we're in a pause here, I wanted to throw one more um, pattern in that everyone might be interested in. Well, um, quick way to get to hand through the pattern is to cook up your yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can look for those patterns that are occurring in the shoe currently. Uh -huh. Instead of the saying uh -huh. butterfly, yes. dragonfly, you might see multiple single single. Right. Okay. That can be a pattern that changes shoe to shoe, though. It's not a butterfly is kind of static across all shoes. Yeah. But look for those, and that's what Canada Box is talking about, vertical and horizontal. You know, what I was talking about in XTB. You know, if you see multiple, multiple, single, and then multiple, multiple, single, single, well, maybe just bet the, the first one off of that. Don't follow it too far. Just follow it for the first bet that's going to work. But there are different patterns that show up in each shoe. So, that part of the box. <laughs> okay, so now we get to uh, this this shoe. Okay, what's the player banker? What's the liner? Player forty, banker thirty-four. So that's some disparities. Yeah. But a lot of the players, you can see a lot of the players come right in here. Six of them. So the four is thirty-four. You know, they had a lot. Okay. There's eleven twos and five ones. There's what now? Eleven twos and five singles. Or okay. Singles. Yeah. So you might get in for a two. Well, you're not betting next hand. No. Okay. So let's see what happens here. I think we're gonna wait there. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we can make some. So two one two one two one. Well, that's your butterfly, right? Yeah, that's and a little bit. That's a little bit about the butterfly. Me and him butterfly. Yeah. So then yeah. I would go player. Player. I could go player. To keep the Yeah, that's, that's a BD. Option. That's a BD. Kevin, would you enter here? What's that? Would you enter here? That's what everybody wants to know. Um, I would. Let's see. If I would do three on a reach, I'd enter. I would enter player. Oh, enter. Oh, I mean, I have to make a bet here. I want to yeah. say clear, yeah. but I don't know. If you don't make a bet, I stick around. I think it should pass. Yeah, stick around. So stick around, you. That's right. Yeah. yeah. OT bills looks like it's doing pretty well. I'm the banker. I'm just yeah, kidding. I'm dead right banker. <laughs> oh, yeah, I won. You got it again. <laughs> well, what's that? <laughs> you got it again. You got it again. You got it again. No bet now. Yeah, no bet. Yeah, no bet. Yeah. Now, are you going to hit the two in a row? Yeah, we've hit the two in a row. Now they play a full butterfly. Oh, of course. Yeah. So you lose that. So that's a two in a row bet, but also a two for butterfly. Right, right. but I don't know where that is. I would have banked on that for banker two. You would have won, I would have gone. Mm. No, no, it's chopping now. No. Yeah, now it's chopping. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it. Keep the chopping. Let's see the next one. It could be a, a switch. Okay, so Kevin here, if you have two losses in a row and you're ready to second liners. Yes. Then do you wait for another I'm waiting two liner another or couple, two? Couple of two of yeah. second liner, and then I'll start betting again. Okay. Like two liner or two two liners? Two. 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 Unless you're can you throw close? Okay. Can you repeat that again? If you lose two row. second two 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 second liners, two in a row. Two. Yeah, two in a row. I will. I'll, I'll wait. 
I'll wait until there's another two in a row. Two in a row. And then another two in a row right after. Oh, you can do two more. Oh, two more now. Then they're joined. That are attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So right here, Kevin. Right there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's a, for instance, you get that player. Now that's kind of an MDB because here you had a multiple two one here. Yeah, Kevin. Well, no, I guess not. No. Two, two losses on the yeah. twos, but you got it. just two losses. Is that a trigger for you to stop and look again? Well, again, it, uh, get out of the shoe is what you're asking. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not saying I would get out of the shoe necessarily. But this is actually skip. a pretty decent shoe. Um, I'd have to figure out, you know, what the all the other disparities were that I'd be looking for. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah, that's a good. That uh, yeah. <laughs> Your question is, how far do you go before you get out? No, just. <laughs> I'll tell you. When the well, first four in a row came, it all changed. Yep. <laughs> Big time change. Big time change. Yep. Well, see, I do better with everybody in the room with me, so we need to play as a team. <laughs> yeah, as a team. And I mean, I'm jumping out with what I think, and it's right, but it's in this environment. That's so, what I said. Well, you get Distilling all the knowledge and taking it with you oh. and the confidence. If right. you have a good the five of us went to Al Cortez. We all lost. <laughs> and we all made the same bets. We're all, we're all, we're all playing the same way. We're all playing the same way. We're, 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 we're going to do some play sessions <laughs> next time. Next time, we'll, next time we'll do some play sessions. And they go, kind of go better than that. Yeah. So, but the thing is, is when we do play sessions, we can't be under pressure. To what we do, the mistake we make. When we're all sitting, I remember a couple times we played over to Golden Dragon. And it was me and Lucky you Ray. and Mike and some other real serious players. And... If the shoe was no good, we didn't feel pressured to play. We just got up and went to another place. Yeah. But when, 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 I, I don't mean to see against new guys, but when new guys come in, um, and we go sit down at a, yeah, yeah, right, and we go sit down at a table, everyone's, what are you going to bet? Well, it, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we all mean. And we're kind of afraid to say that because, yeah. you know, everyone said, well, what do you guys, what do you mean you're not going to bet? So it, it's be, sometimes it's good just to do a play session where we just, and I like to do that. Come on, we'll meet you and we'll play and we have the whole day or we'll be doing a crawl or something like that where we're going to take our time. But that's the thing that we found out yeah. playing together. And Kevin plays a lot with people. It's, and it's like, you know. You, 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 it's hard to sit there and do nothing. Like some, and sometimes that thirty percent of the time, yes. that's the play. You well, know? I even got up. You when we went to El Cortez, I went, went away for a while. Yeah, because we were all losing, so I got up and went away. Yeah, it's yeah. the best thing you could do. And then I came back, and you still were all losing. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided. To <laughs> so I decided to get back in. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the other thing you got to be careful of too. Is it, everybody's looking at one player, you know? Right. What if he's wrong? You know? <laughs> but when we have a conversation, like the best times were when we overtook the table, they accommodated us, like they do at Red Rock, and you could sit there, and that, that's one of the best places to play when we do this, because Kevin's like they all know him. And, and he's got that special card. I don't know if he's ever shown. Did you? Did you ever see this special? Deal? I don't have it with me. You don't have it with you. The me. green, the card. dragon. Oh, the special yeah. dragon club from yeah. Red yeah. Yeah. Like, Locked up in the ball. But yeah, it, you know, he's pulling it out and explaining five D to new players at the table, and they're oh, you know, it's they're okay. they're accommodating. Yeah. You know, so yeah, they're not. But anyway, they want to get more people. In. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it's like let's let's here. let's do a shoe keep that where we go to like. Uh, uh, hand three. Okay. Uh, I'll show them something. Well, let's just go. Kevin special? Okay, so we're going to do the special? I like playing this special. Okay. The fourth time. As, as far as starting out, I would say the learning, uh, Kevin and Keith jump in on this. I would say pick one thing and master it first and then work off of that. Yeah. And if I was to pick it, it'd be V87. That's what I would tell people to do too. Yeah. yeah. It master V87 and then start working on all this other stuff. So let's do the first three hands. Okay. You want to do three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Now, there's a lot to talk about there, so you guys figure it out. Chags me for this, but I have. It's it's hard to know when to get in the shoe. Like we've been talking about, you know, and it depends on where the shoe is at, and you know, sometimes you got shoe changes going on, and you know. But for whatever reason, if I want to play from the beginning, and I will always bet the fourth hand, if. The first two hands are a two and or a one. I have to have a two and a one. So I had here. I got a two, yeah, a one. I'll bet it'll go to player. Yeah, this is a special. <laughs> or a one two. Oh, see, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's it's just a way that it gets me into the shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm going to play from the beginning. And it's a small bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But it, it's uh, you know, and who was it? Scott. Yeah. from Mississippi. He he was here and he goes, that dumb fourth bet, that don't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, every every shoe, every shoe, every yeah. shoe, it worked, it worked, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and that is about how he sounded. He sounded just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about the fourth bet. Okay, yeah. so let's, uh, know, it works for a while. Yeah, let's <laughs> take it for cool. while it works. All right, well, let's try another one. Okay, so, so we're 0 for 1. Okay. Go oh, that's, oh, that's, that's the same thing too. That's, that's the same. That was the same shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I okay, so there's 754. Okay, this is another. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, now, okay. and now, now I wouldn't yeah. make the bet because I don't have a two. You know, there's no two. Yeah, he wants a two. So it's only two and one. Shopping. So you wouldn't bet that chop. I would not have liked that. No. And that's, a good that's one. why. And that's why. And that's why. <laughs> look at that, Wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of six. Lot of four and five. Yeah, six. Seven, whatever that is. Butterfly dragon, butterfly dragon, butterfly, 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 butterfly. Good one. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see and you'll see that stuff. You see, you, you not every shoe, you know, but it's. Okay, let's do uh, one minute box round. All right. Let me get a shoe. Can, I got you a have, can you show us show us a video? First. Okay, yeah, I, I should show you that. Does anybody not know what one minute bar ride is? That's new to me. It's it's a great, okay. good way to play, man. Yeah, what we do, what, what Keith and I were looking for a video to record, you know, just to put out on you know YouTube, and so we came up with the concept of one minute bar ride, and really one minute bar ride is pretty much what we've been talking about here, with the exception of you only have one minute to make yeah. a bet. Yeah. You you don't have this like, well, you know, I don't know. You know, yeah, one minute. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Oh, you're gonna have to do one. You're gonna have to do a one minute bonsai. But those are fun to watch. I mean look at how you go to me. So I don't know. Show Keith's gonna show you a one minute black casino. Oh, I see those Canadian dollars. Sure, here you go. Hey. Yeah. You're gonna walk into the just show your commercial. It's everything yeah. you know and come up with what do you think is going on in this? The volume's turned down on the TV. Yeah, what you do. No, it's, it's not HDMI into there, so. Oh. Where's the, the, the so you, Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it should. It should. No, it, it's coming from here. It's not HDMI. Or is it? Yeah. yeah. It is HDMI. Hold on. Yeah. You're right. You're correct. I'm sorry. Hold on. Where, where is the clicker? Oh, it's there. I feel like I'm at home. Where's the clicker? I know. Where's the clicker? <laughs> where's the damn clicker? No, because nobody said get it yourself. No, no, my grandkids are saying, you mean the remote? <laughs> we're going to have a beat the casino players play this for you, and we're going to keep score, we're going to keep a tally. Is it up? Yeah. 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 So listen, just can you hear it? Yeah. You want to be a little bit. Now, it's all just going to be a second. You can dial it. It's, 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 I don't know why it's not. Oh, wait, I know. Shoot me an email if you want to. Okay. Okay. Is your volume up on your device? Yeah, it's easy. That's it. Oh, a good thing you got Fox. The president was on your screen. Well, I think that there's a lot of two. There it is. Okay, get ahead and listen. So, you want the next hand here? 
Here's Nate. I You've think seen Nate, all of them. Yeah. Nate did one. <laughs> Not the recent one. One minute bottle. The two been up here. Evaluate the situation and decide what you're going to do. If There's banker one. wins or player wins after two hands. Boy, it sounds like. Okay, Keith, with the uh, one minute Baccarat, I got to beat the casino player, Nate W. A really great player. player. Nate, how you doing? I'm great. Thank you. How are you doing? You know, Nate, he was supposed to come, he couldn't make it. We're going to give you the next hand, and uh, we're going to ask you, what are you thinking? So you're going to have to assess the situation in 60 seconds. You all set? Here comes the next hand. All right. Okay, it's, it's a banker. It's a con. Yeah, so yeah, because we've got a four right? before, and looks like this could be, well, it could go either way, but I would say, let's go player. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say that. All right. Cap the floor. Jump the floor. Oh, we, <laughs> we lost that. We lost that. Looks like we're, looks like we're 12 easy. seconds left. <laughs> All right. So maybe one more. And I did some live here. Here's one from Kevin. Here's. But that would make sense because it's repeats were killing this shit. That looks like yeah. 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 So Play the switch there. Yeah, good. Good. Here, I did one on live. Yeah. Okay, Keith here, one minute Baccarat, real quick one on the line, That's an easy one here, second liner, looks like a pretty good bet, uh, trying to catch the banker, most common second liners, let's see what happens here, have a three on player, three on banker, card for the player, uh, stays at three, any number, Looks like we caught it too, so we got the win. All right, Keith, one minute, Bob, we're off. See, I didn't want to go on again, so anyway. Okay, so you want to go back to... Uh, it was repeats. Oh, here. The BTC seminar. Listen, no mass, right? No mass. <laughs> Okay, so here we got this one, Kevin. Uh, this is a special one. Here. Here's a special okay. here. So here, here's a special one. Let's see. Ah. And you got it. Yeah, he got it. Yeah. So. It's a 50 50 bet. That's what I said. Let's take five minutes, Kevin. Kevin, we we'll take five minutes. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's take five minutes. Uh, I was at the fourth place. Why are we two and one? You were always wanting to count, 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 count,